because it's like I'm already healing from being cut open and now I gotta heal from a freaking allergic reaction. I felt that. that I didn't was, like that feeling. You didn't like that? I'm sorry. Sweetie. No, wait, you cause my skin. Oh, I didn't cut your skin. <laughs> morning it's time to go for my one day checkup it's 10 o'clock right now i gotta be there at 10 30. my mom got me this gang banging a uh, mask because oh. <laughs> i can't put a real mask on around my ears oh. where do you go yeah so we're about to leave right now um I'll see you guys when I get back and I'll film a little on my phone. Here we go. Okay, I'm in the waiting room. Um, not the waiting room, but I'm in an office. And I was looking at myself. Hold on, let me show you guys. Look at my hood. I can't take it off though. Like I can't reach up to take it off. Someone else is gonna have to do it. They said I look good and I'm up moving around. But I think I've told you in other videos that I do have like a high pain tolerance and I'm pretty good with um surgery like I've never been like ow I'm in pain I need the pain pills you know I take them because they direct me to but um I'll probably just take them today and tomorrow and I'll be fine because I don't like the taste of them and I don't I really don't feel like I need them I just feel sore so We'll see though what they say when I when they come in. Okay, so they put a new chin strap thing. <laughs> and this I can remove. And um, they told me to ice today. Um, I saw how it looked. Right now, obviously I'm still swollen, but I do see that they did some. So um, my arms look amazing, okay? My arms look really good. They said that it looks really good and um, what else to keep my arms elevated? I have the drains in right now. Um, I'm gonna have those in for a week. I can't show you guys because I don't have a shirt on right now. Um, I'm waiting for the doctor to come in and look at me now. They changed my wraps and they're just telling me basically um, how to care for myself at home. And I told them I have not been able to keep any food down. Um, like I tried eating applesauce and a cracker and it's like I ate it, but it didn't stay down. Um, but I kind of feel like I am hungry, but I just can't. So I'm going to try um, to get a smoothie. They said smoothies was fine. So to try to drink that, because I have been drinking Gatorade, which tastes amazing right now. You know, I can't really tell because it's only the day after and I'm going to swell up and down for a while, but... It's a, it looks good to me. And that's the main thing. I don't care if nobody else noticed. As long as I notice, that's what matters. I still can't really smile right now because it's sore. Like, it's weird. Yeah, so I'll check in with you guys later. I just woke up from like another nap. I just take like a lot of short naps, um, especially after I take medication. It just makes me really sleepy. Um, the doctor said I'm doing really well. Um, he gave me, um, they prescribed shots today though, that I have to take for, I took one today at the office and then I have to take two more. So my mom's going to have to give me a shot in my stomach and that's just to, uh, prevent blood clots. So I want to stay up on that for sure. And then, um, yeah, so far I'm good. Like I'm not in pain or anything. Honestly, the most painful part of getting surgery is the, um, getting the IV in because they do it on the top of your hand or right there on your wrist so it's really uncomfortable and twice this has happened so yesterday they tried to put it in top of my hand and it wasn't working right which was painful they had to pull it out then they had to put it in my wrist so that's really the only pain and I don't know why it's so painful I think it's because they put in the that plastic piece in your under your skin so yeah so that's the only part that really hurts 
Um, it's not like getting your blood drawn, not an IV like that. It's different. It feels a lot different than that. Um, but that's happened to me during surgery before. The, for some reason, the IV didn't work on top of my hand. I actually still have a scar from where they did that. I still cannot eat. I tried getting a smoothie. Let me show you. So I got this smoothie. Um, can you guys see where it's filled up? Oh yeah, you can see it's down to here. Now it's like not even a smoothie. I should put it in the refrigerator though because I got that smoothie right after I left my appointment. So that was at like 11 and it's five now, it's 5 p.m. And that's all I've been able to drink. Now I just ate, um, I tried to eat one cracker and my mom put peanut butter on it, a saltine cracker. Well, she gave me two, but I could only eat one and I just ate that so I can take um, one of the antibiotics and, um, I don't know what it is this time. I feel like I'm always able to eat. The first day, I'm used to that. I'm not really able to eat. But I do usually eat a cracker or something with my meds. But I don't know what's up this time. But I um, just food is just making me feel like jacked up. So I'll probably go to sleep again in a second. I still got this mask around my neck. I need to take it off. <laughs> the girl even then my nurse she's like a young girl she's cool but um i put it on and she was like okay so now you're gonna stick up the place like that's exactly what i said because <laughs> i like to have my hood on and then i had this blue freaking rag on my face basically but um <laughs> i look crazy and my mom is well, i mean i guess she is mom but she's like really good at everything um writing down all the stuff, dumping out the blood in my, um, I have drains in. And I can't really show you guys because I can't really move my arms, y'all. I can move my hands. They're super swollen, but I can move my hands. And um, that's about it. Um, yeah, you guys will see everything in this video. I don't even know if this is something people would be even wanting to see because most people, it's like, you want to watch people get their boobs done and get their ass done but sorry i'm not doing that today <laughs> and like i said this is not to encourage anybody this is something that i've wanted to do for a while i just i don't know i just kind of waited it out and then finally decided to do it and also when you have to think about somebody taking care of you and all that stuff when you get surgery and I'm just glad my mom is here because this surgery where you can't move your arms, it's a little more serious. Even though I'm not in pain, it's just like you really do need help. Like when I got home, I was like, damn, um, yesterday I was like, I don't know how I'm going to go home. But um, I feel better today. Like I can I was able to crunch down and like brush my teeth and like. Um, I can use the bathroom by myself. I can't like put my pants on and stuff though because it's just too far down. So my mom helps me put my pants on and like um, she was helping me with my pills and I started trying to take my pills now today. I just really have to crunch down. So I'm using a lot of abs and a lot of legs. I just, um, like I said, I'm gonna be looking not cute this whole video, but whatever y'all need to see the real, okay? <laughs> So I, um, this piece of thing right here, look at, <clears throat> so like my ears are like swollen. Um, I think I'm allergic to, I don't know. I usually tell, um, my doctor when I get surgery that, um, I'm allergic to a certain kind of surgical tape. Just like it just, my skin is really sensitive. And like anytime something is like touching me that just doesn't agree with it, like I um, I get hives. And I actually have hives kind of on my stomach too. I don't know why, but we'll figure that out. It goes away, but that just comes with um, having sensitive skin. I don't know what it is, but my ears are, yeah, they're hella swollen. Good morning. I'm in. Is it morning? A little bit. Afternoon. Well, no. It's still Almost morning. afternoon. I just came from um, 
the pharmacy and I had to stop at home to get my computer charger. A big old thing happened with my computer charger because I forgot my key at my mom's and for some reason the master key wasn't even opening my door so we had to call all kind of people to my door and they finally got it open so I just grabbed what I needed but my mom is about to uh, give me a shot right now. Oh, okay. <laughs> do you know how to do this? Do you know, I had to do my own. Ex I had to do my own, honey. Okay, we'll, we'll try to grab. A I want this thing to pop off. No, no, no! You're pressing it. You just take the top off. It just comes off. Mine didn't. Yeah. Oh. And you start pressing that stuff. Oh, I know. In me. It, it pops off. Okay. Where are you getting it from? You have to get a okay. roll. I know, Tina. Just get a big roll. I will, Tina. Ouch. Tell me when. Uh, One, two, three, go. Ow! Oh, are you pressing it in? Are you yes, pressing it babies, in? Yes, babies, they're done. You're done. Okay. You're done. So I haven't recorded in two days, you guys. <sighs> the last two days was, it wasn't hard, it wasn't painful, but something came up. So I'm holding my blanket like this. I don't have to wear the band around my head anymore. Um, it's usually for the first three days and me, I had to take it off a little bit earlier because I had an allergic reaction to the surgical tape and I'm not sure if I brought it up in previous videos, but um, I could have swore I, I said it before. And I believe I did even write it down, but you know, it's kind of unclear because I don't know what the tape is called. I'm just like the white surgical tape. That's all I knew. Um, Cause this has happened before. And I don't know if you guys can see right now, like my ears, my ears actually went down a lot. I have my chin covered because y'all, <laughs> I can't even really smile like for real yet. Um, it's just not ready to be seen, okay? It's not abnormal because since I was a kid, like I would come in from playing outside and all of a sudden I got hives everywhere. And my parents were like, okay, what the hell? Like, what do we do? But this was even worse than hives. Um, I felt it coming on the night that I said like my ears, the night, I'm not sure, I won't know until I edit this, but I know one of the nights I said I was starting to look like Hitch because my ears, I felt, I felt like a reaction coming on because what happens is like you start to itch and then your um, whatever body part it is, it gets real hard because it's filling up with like, that pus you know that makes like the hives come out and stuff so like my ears were getting like that and they were itching so i'm like what the hell like and then i when i took the band off i'm looking at my ears and i'm like my ears look crazy like they were literally i can't show you because i can't still lift my arm one of my arms is still looking like professor clump <laughs> like it is so swollen. I wasn't too freaked out because like I said, I've had surgery before and it happened when I used that tape. I didn't realize what tape they use because I have ACE bandages on. So I can't see what tape is holding the incision. So I didn't know, but obviously once I started breaking down hives, I knew I'm like, okay, they used the wrong damn tape. So, that happened, I already knew you can't really do anything but let it pass. And back to the high um, allergic reaction, like this ain't no hives, it's blisters. Like I didn't even show, I didn't even think to pick up the camera or take a picture because it was just, I was just, I was really annoyed because I feel like I mentioned it and it's just something else you got to deal with because it's like i'm already healing from being cut open and now i gotta heal from a freaking allergic reaction now that that's happened again though i really need to know what's inside that tape because just in case it's in anything else and the reason why my ears and my face started breaking out like when i was really really looking like hitch like my ears were like poked out because they were just so filled with fluid they're still hard and it's obviously the scar not the scar but you know when a rash is going down so it's going down around my face and stuff but um 
no like y'all if y'all don't if y'all ain't seen that movie i'm gonna have to insert a picture because i legit look like hitched the next day once i felt it coming though that night i just felt it coming and i was just like what i didn't think they used that tape though so at first i was like i didn't know what it was but when i started itching i was like I just knew it was about to be a whole thing. I'm up and finally about to go to my week post-op appointment. I'm going to be filming on my phone because I'm about to leave this camera here. But as you can see, I'm doing a lot better. Um, my face is still kind of swollen, but at least it's not <laughs> to what it was a couple days ago. It was bad. I will explain more later. Um, my arms, I can, you know pretty much lift them move them um today i'm hopefully taking my drains out and i'll be able to go home just so i could start doing my own thing and getting back to normal all right so i'm finally in the room waiting on the doctor to finally come and see me after a week and um get these drains out because there's no blood coming out anymore it's pretty much just ew sorry y'all but um my face is like I can't wait to get a facial or do a facial and my brows look crazy but when I go home I'll be able to do them so after a couple days probably but um yeah I'm about to see if I'm supposed to be getting like massages and stuff like I'm not really sure because this was a more serious surgery than I first thought I was going to do um, I did end up kind of changing it like when I came back to actually pay I ended up like adding more um, I'll tell you guys more about that in a different video though because I'm just gonna keep this video to surgery day and my post-op through the first week I'm about to get my drains out I'm so nervous I'm nervous because it's in my skin I don't want to show you because i don't want you guys to get freaked out but it's basically oops <sighs> okay don't worry see right, how far is it inside me it's pretty it's pretty up to there that hurt. Mm -hmm. <laughs> how is that not gonna they're hurt shorter though sometimes when we take them out they're a lot shorter than we thought they were but it's probably up to about here oh but it might be, it might be shorter. It might be like this little. We'll it's like a surprise every time you take it out. <laughs> oh my God, I'm nervous. Don't be nervous. Wait, okay, what do well, you I'm not going to take it out yet. I'm just going to cut. I want you to just kind of rest your arm up here. I'm just going to cut this little suture. Okay, wait, wait. What are you doing? This little okay. suture right okay. here. Okay. That's it. I felt that. Don't I didn't like that feeling. You didn't like that? I'm sorry, sweetie. No, wait. You, cause my skin oh i didn't cut your skin my drains are out my little stitches are out y'all that feeling oh. i don't want to say it hurt but it did not feel good it just instantly made my arm feel like sore like the um the tube in my arm comes came i didn't know that because you I've had drains before because when you get your boobs done they usually put drains in there but it's kind of like in your skin probably like this y'all I still ain't got no now <laughs> probably like um like this much so when they pull it it's like not that much of a you know it kind of you know it's uncomfortable but not like my arm so it was from my elbow up to like mid like bicep and I felt it come all the way down out my arm. And when she pulled it, it just instantly like tightens like, oh, it was a feeling that I have never felt before, obviously. What kind of, oh, <laughs> tape. <laughs> How are you with a bandit? I mean, if a bandit will hold it, that's fine. Yeah, I'm just gonna put a little piece of This is my, I look crazy. <laughs> This is my first time driving um, since since I had surgery, since that day. Um, but I had to bring my car back. The doctor said still kind of chill on doing things and driving for another week. But I had to get my car back to my house. So um, 
I just went ahead and drove it. I feel comfortable. I do feel like, um, obviously my arms still need to be rest. This stuff did just happen not too long ago. Um, and my arms still don't move like as quickly. So I am taking the streets just in case, you know, I got to swerve or something. I ain't trying to do all that because my arms are not normal right now. But, um, yeah, so my brother is behind me and they have all my stuff in their car. And um, he's gonna park in front, bring it up, and get my groceries and stuff, and also pick up my um, a prescription. But it's just a like a appointment kind of thing. I cleaned out my fridge, so I pretty much just have water. I have one juice left. I have some meal I have some meal prep but it's really nothing in it. It's just like um rice and like um broccoli or I think it's just rice cuz I was thinking like that isn't really going to go bad. So I was just thinking I can like build off of that when I got home. So that's probably what I'm going to do not today. Like I don't have the energy. I'm just going to put these groceries away. I need to edit um, the first part of my surgery, um, well, my surgery day, I need to edit that so it can go up on Friday. It's Wednesday right now. So I might start that a little bit and then I'm pretty much going to be chilling because they said to, for another week when I went there today, like basically act like you just got surgery. So still be low key, do little things that you have to do, but yeah, so what did I get? I just got pretty much the same stuff. Obviously, just, you know, what is this? Tomatoes, cilantro, spinach. I'm pretty much still going to be like watching what I eat, especially because I can't go to the gym. So, you know, I'm going to be a little more, not strict, because especially now, because you want to like feed your body while you're still on these antibiotics. But, um, you know what I mean in check like I'm not gonna just be going crazy I'm just because I can't do anything I'm gonna be in the house so I'm gonna be like cooking a lot more I probably won't meal prep I think I'm gonna just cook because I really can't do anything so I might as well just cook when I want to eat yeah let me get off the camera with this thing on because y'all seen enough of this all right you guys so today is officially two weeks post-op um yeah so I'm still healing I have a lot of healing to do um my face is still really swollen like close to like my throat like it's like this little puffy bag right here like i can feel it um i can kind of smile well i can smile but it just gets tight right here where it's swollen but i can see a huge difference because usually when i smile i have like a double chin but i don't anymore so it's kind of getting there like you know i'm getting what i paid for okay my arms is the most difficult um part of healing because it was more serious the wounds are still like open like in the armpit area and i'm thinking it's because that's where i move i don't know i try to stay still as much as i can all day i really don't know what else i can do to make it um heal faster that's why i'm in the bathroom actually right now because at night is when i have to do my um put on my ointment before bed and this is it right here and you're supposed to put it on like twice a day so i'm about to take this off and put it on like the incisions um you have to have kind of a strong stomach to see yourself like that because it is a little bit much to see like you could literally see the white meat like you see inside your body and for me the reason why it's like that um because i couldn't keep that tape on so i'm kind of just like healing it like it doesn't really need anything over it because you know it's not crazy but you could still see like you being cut and where the drain got pulled out that's still like a fresh wound that because i got the drain out now um just a couple days ago still but beside that, that's what I'm really waiting for. And um, I'm still, my arms are still bruised and um, kind of numb in some places, like 
to touch like I still can't feel you know it just feels really weird because of the swelling is still like going down but at least my hands are not fat anymore and you can see both of my wrists now um, and my arms still look good um, it's just it just needs to heal that's what I'm waiting for and it's only been two weeks though so I just gotta relax and try not to do anything um, but yeah um, don't mind my brows and lashes and my nail I'm gonna handle all that this week I probably won't really make another video about this until I'm actually all the way healed because you know I can't really show you anything because it's just you know you're not gonna be able to see the full effect so I did get a question on my last video to talk more about the anesthesia um, I'm just gonna read everything that this person wanted to know because just to make sure I answer everything and I'm gonna basically start it says how do they do it what does it feel like when they put the medicine in and do you get sleepy right away like they want to know do you get sleepy or can you fight it like they're, they're basically afraid of are they going to go to sleep you literally just go to sleep and no you can't fight it like it's some strong medicine it's like a mixture of um what's coming through the iv that's how they do it they put it through the iv so whatever's going in that iv that's what makes you go to sleep and then the anesthesia you know and then that doctor who puts in your anesthesia stays there and you know they monitor your heart rate throughout the whole surgery is them putting in medicine to keep you asleep they're like monitoring all that from what i know um because i'm obviously asleep you can't feel anything you because all you're gonna feel is that iv when they put the iv in you feel that but then after that it's not like um it's not like i feel the medicine coming in my body i'm just like out i've been under local anesthesia too um and that is different you are awake but you still don't really know what's going on the only thing that i guess most people are afraid of actually waking up after the anesthesia but these are certified doctors make sure you are going to certified doctors do your research and you don't have anything to worry about i really don't have much else to say because right now like i said i'm just still healing and i'm doing okay and i'm thankful but that's gonna be the end of this vlog if you have any more questions just put it down in the comments and i will answer that and i'll see you guys in the next one